This is the Sioux City Musketeers Coaches Show. Now here's your host, Curtis Anderson. This is the Musketeer Coaches Show. It's right here at Eddie's Tavern. Curtis Anderson with you, along with the head coach of the Sioux City Musketeers. And that's Jason Kirstner. Um, the Musketeers went one and one this last week. Uh, they split with the Madison Capitals. Um, so we start Friday a 3-2 win and then a 4-3 loss uh, on Saturday. And, uh, well, uh, I guess let's try Friday first. And um, a 3-2 win it almost doesn't justify how well you guys played. Yeah, that was uh, honestly, Curtis, one of our better games of the season yeah. is, is how we felt coming out of that. Um, you know, at any kind of, you know, stats or analytics and scoring chances and things that you would pay attention to um, were, were really, uh, you know, good and in, in our favor in that game. And, um, and, and I think what's important to note about that is Madison's really good. Like I, mm-hmm. I like their team a lot. So, the fact that that game felt as one side as it was, obviously, as you said, the score was close, but we felt really good about our play and we were able to, um, I was just so appreciative of our guys efforts throughout the game. And we were able really to kind of stick to our agenda. I thought we handled situations really well in that game. As you said, it, it I don't think the score was indicative because it, uh, it, 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 it was right up there with one of our, our best games of the season. I look um, that that was kind of a nervy game because you, you you think Madison we know their record's solid their top two lines can score goals with the best of them and uh, especially Muster and we knew the other kid from last year at Tri City they have really good goaltending very good goaltending and that that was really the biggest factor in that game you got to give um, Muster the 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 credit there I thought he was the the best player on the rink. I liked a lot of mm-hmm. uh, our guys. I thought we played really well. I thought we played a really, really good team game. Um, but from an individual standpoint, man, what a, that, that, that was as good probably as a, as a goaltending game that we've seen pr- probably all year, Curtis, to be honest mm-hmm. with you on either side of it. I, I just thought he was such a central component of that game and got to, got to really tip your cap for him. And that's what, at the end of the day, when you say that, that was a kind of tight game, a close game or whatever, that, that really was the biggest factor. How many scoring chances do you know offhand? Or uh, I think we had 28. 28 scoring chances. What's yeah. your average, or what do you goal set? Yeah, we we, we look to get. Obviously, we've we uh, we've been a, a, a bit more of an offensive team this year. So, so somewhere like 18 to 20, we feel really yeah. good. Um, tw- you feel really good at 18 to 20. Yeah, 18, 18 to 20 <laughs> means we're we're pretty happy with our play. 28 uh 28 a lot. 18 to 20 probably win most of those games yeah that's 100 percent. that i mean it's because uh, you base wins and losses on a lot of different things and yeah that's got to be one that's uh, scoring chances is uh I, I would say probably the biggest thing from a from a post-game review standpoint that we'll go back and look at and that's that's one that we do in-house all, all um you know coaching staffs uh, around the league and in college and in pro will we'll, we'll, we'll kind of just go back and and um define those we, we all have very similar dif- definitions maybe mm-hmm. maybe a little bit of a tweak here and there that that will count one uh, you, you know another team won't count it's something like that so um but it's just important that you stay consistent with whatever your definition is throughout the season and um and 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 i would say that's probably number one there there are certainly other things that we look at and from team to team they might matter a little bit differently for this particular team uh in zone possession time it has been a nice oh yeah it has correlated well with success you know some, some of the other things that are interesting that don't um face-offs have not we have not been a very good face-off mm-hmm. team all season we rarely win the face-off battle <laughs> um and we still win the game right so yeah so that has so not, that hasn't that has but not, i wonder if you would win face-offs would it even uh, yeah, listen, it certainly wouldn't hurt. Don't get me I wrong. I mean, obviously, definitely. it would help your PK or your power There are certainly too. areas where it, in those uh, regards that it could help. Um, obviously, just by winning face-off, we, we just said possession matters. Mm-hmm. The more you win the face-off, the more possession yeah. you have, right? You're not chasing the game. So, But that's just one that hasn't correlated. Um, that's just it, funny, though. It is. And, you know, we obviously shots on goal um, is not overly <laughs> important or, or correlates a lot with us. You're 16th out of 16. That, 16th out of 16. So that, So... Um, and again, every every team takes on a little, you know, I, I think as a staff, you come in with a little bit of, um, you know, hey, this is how we want to play this year. And, you, you know, you, you tailor that to 
to, to your, your players and, and then you adjust and adapt on the fly as you recognize as it, you know, as you know, Curtis, you see these guys in main camp in June, you think, you know what they are. And the, the then <laughs> you thought you chose yeah. exactly in 10, 12 games, you start to learn a little bit more about them. So that, that's always, you know, as it relates to your identity and your schematics and how you want to play, you got to change. But now that we've now, now that we're past the halfway point, we, we, we have a pretty good idea as to what's going to correlate to success. And obviously it's, you know, it doesn't guarantee success. It doesn't mm-hmm. guarantee a desired result or an outcome in a game. No, but um, but, but you, you want you want to play the percentage. In Linux, you say we you, do this, 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 or this. We win games ninety percent, exactly. Or whatever exactly. the case is. Yeah, um, it, it is interesting because um, uh, I've had to explain to a few people, and and maybe that Friday game gave uh, a, a better look at being choosy about your shot selection. Uh, about setting up grade A shots, uh, like we want really, we want scoring chances, not necessarily shots. And because uh, the number was, you guys are 16th in shots for. By the way, you're, I think you're two in shots against, because you, you possess the puck. Yep. But the other side of it is, is that you guys are number one in shooting percentage. Um, it's you're at f- over 15 percent. I believe Dubuque is percentage points behind you. And then I think like third is like twelve percent. Yeah. I mean, it's you're you and Dubuque are way up there. Dubuque is not a high shooting team either. No, again, I I think that again the game has. Uh, listen, I I think if you you you'll find this also in pro hockey and coming into college hockey. It's it's we didn't invent this uh, <laughs> this kind of philosophy. It's becoming more and more common now. Um, but again, there's just different ways to skin a cat, and and I'm not one to. This is just the way that that we're playing, and for teams that put um, high shot volume on and are just trying to crash the net and create mm-hmm. havoc and chaos. But that's a different identity. That's a different identity, and I'm not one to say that it's wrong or poo poo it or or say ours is better. Mm-hmm. This is what's fit our personnel, our group, and 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 how we've gone about it. And and yeah, I I, I agree with. You. I think that if you look at and truthfully. Um, you know, I, you, I think you could say a lot of the same in Saturday's game, even though we didn't get the desired result. But, um, you know, Friday's Friday's game would be a really nice example, um, with, with the exception of in that particular game, we we we, we didn't score as much. You know, that mm-hmm. statistically with the amount of scoring chances and expected goals for and things we had, that should have been a, that should have been a piece pizza night. A, 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 yeah. Five or six goals. Yeah. Least, let's say the yeah, least. Yeah. And, and we just. We missed a couple, but uh, hit a post here and there. But for the most part, again, I, we, we, the central component of that, um, you know, outcome as it relates to goal scoring, the, the you tip your cap to the goalie on the other team. That that's really what the main factor was, um, you know, in that game for me. Saturday, I thought you played good. I thought they played better uh, than they did on Friday, obviously, because uh, you learn from s- certain things. But it it, it kind of smarted um, that loss because um, I, I thought you were playing for a better outcome. And then back-to-back power play goals, and then the the one right after that, and uh, you guys came hard after them after that, but just uh, could not find an answer. It was almost uh, a little shell shot. It was like, wow, it, that's what momentum does, I guess. I mean, it's a good way of saying it. You know, momentum is, and um, we we really liked our game. They, you're right. I thought they. Uh, we knew, and you and I talked about it on the radio show that. They'd probably come out with a, a push, and I thought that they outplayed us the first kind of, you know, six eight minutes of that game. I thought they really kind of got came some out. zone pressure, that they, kind of thing. Yeah, a couple scoring chances, and they, I thought they kind of really started out of the gate. Um, but I loved our response because, um, you know, it, you, you you can talk to your blue in the face coach. Hey guys, it's gonna be really, you know they're gonna come, they're gonna get, yeah. yeah, they're gonna push, but they might have to see it firsthand to really. I I think you got to feel it, and um, and and. We we survived it at zero zero, which was really nice. Yeah, the um, first period. Yeah, really to me, the, until or the first, first media timeout, eight, yeah. eight ten minutes, and then I thought we took over from there. I loved the second half of our our first period. I loved our response. I thought we we answered the bell. We felt it, um, but we got off the ropes and we started swinging. Like and and we pushed back. And and I thought we started to grab the momentum in the in the first period. And then I loved our second period. I thought we were coming downhill on them. I thought again. Back to puck possession and yeah. shot selection and plays and scoring chances and all of those kind of things, and then um, I, I 
I thought to start the third period, same, just like the first, there was just a couple minutes where they came out of the gates and, and they were, they, they were bringing it to us. Loved our response yet again. I, I thought there was another five, six minutes where, where we felt that had the two goal lead and looked like, oh, Hey, a three goal lead. Yep. We were about to kind of, kind of push it and, um, and play with it. And then obviously the biggest factor there were penalties, right? Like yeah. they, they have, to your point, they have some really, really good players and, I thought we did um, a really good job as a team of frustrating those guys five on five. Oh, yeah. We really did not give up much. And like you said, high point totals. And, um, you know, we had obviously done a little bit of line matching, playing some specific players against them. I was just so appreciative of the efforts of those guys and how they went about, um, you know, attacking those unbelievable players and putting them on their heels and forcing them to, to defend and, um, and when they needed to defend, uh, whether that had been our forwards or, 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 or Ty and Finn played a lot of shifts against those guys, just really tight gaps and just didn't give them time gave and them space. Gave them no space. I thought, I thought Ty just was all over them. He, he really was. And, uh, again, just so appreciative of the efforts of those guys. And, 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 and I, I think that speaks volumes for us down the stretch mm-hmm. um, because, that, you know, as it relates to – success and and how how many even strength goals and points that those guys had that that's as good a grouping up front as we're going to see all season it, it, you know at least to this point who knows what the future holds but mm-hmm. um but 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 how we kind of divided the labor and utilized the talents to 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 counteract those guys i i thought um I, 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 I just thought it was really good that and, and, and the efforts that those guys put into work to minimize the offensive chances was just impressive. So um, but then the penalties come. Yeah. You start to give those really good same good players a little bit more time and space. Oh, they have space. Yeah. And, and you can't you can't kind of control that the, those matchups and those kind of things anymore. And you got to give them credit. I mean, first goal, great play by them. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, second one. Didn't like as much on our behalf. Like, like I think that's a this is a taut middle shot that you'd like to see us block or do a little bit better job. It got of. through a lot of bodies yeah. and, from uh, outside, and and the both of those by Henry were were from the outside. And usually, you guys do a good job of blocking, and and just didn't there. And and then to your point, that you know that's when you know we just weren't able to recapture the momentum. Right? It was really. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, kind of three consecutive scoring chances that just just went in and, and, and took the wind out of the sails a little bit. Um, to your point, I thought we tried to try to make a, a a a little bit of a push at the end. Um, you know, in an effort to kind of change the outcome of the game, but it just it it it, it, it we just didn't we just didn't we weren't able to recapture that mm-hmm. momentum and 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 really get back inside to do it. So again, the the game ends and. Yeah, there's a lot of positives. The, the possession numbers are good. Uh, the the scoring chances look good. The, yeah, it, you know, but that's 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 a, a just a credit to Madison, and and they don't need a lot of chances to to make you pay. And and to your point, uh, you know, situational moments and and game management and momentum, it it, it matters. Mm-hmm. Okay, but wait, one and one, uh, obviously still sitting. Uh, shoot, uh, what are you guys sitting? Uh, now you're ahead. We keep switching off who's who's in third place over there, and and whether it's Sioux Falls, whether it's Water, it was Waterloo for a second, and uh, then you got Tri City there. I mean, it's uh, th- there's a lot of good teams, but let's get a break in. We'll come back. Um, we got to talk about um, this weekend playing a team out of win three-game winning streak, Omaha. That's uh, really for the first time uh, this year for them. Uh, playing a Cedar Rapids team that kind of snuck one away from you earlier this season. So uh, a couple big games, both Thursday night, which is 7 o'clock Saturday night, 7 o'clock. We'll have the coverage here on Cam and SI Heart Radio and Flow Hockey. It is um, the Musketeer Coaches Show right here at Eddie's on Fox Sports Radio 620, Cam and S. This is the Sioux City Musketeers Coaches Show. Now here's your host, Curtis Anderson. Musketeer Coaches Show is right here at Eddie's Tavern. Curtis Anderson here along with Jason Kersner, the head coach of the Sioux City Musketeers. Uh, Thursday night game at Omaha. Saturday night game at Cedar Rapids. Sioux City right now. Um, 18, where are we at? 33 games played. That's just crazy. 18, 9, and 6. Uh, 42 points right now. Uh, seven point lead over Sioux Falls. <laughs> they re grabbed the third, like third, fourth, and fifth. 
it doesn't matter. They're all really good. Sioux Falls, Waterloo, and Tri-City, and there are two points between all three of them. Three really good teams, and, and um, obviously – We've uh, we've seen Sioux Falls way more out mm-hmm. of that that bunching, but you know that just tells you we'll we'll be having our hands full with Try and Waterloo coming up. Yeah, well they'll be looking forward to try to catch that team above them, get positioning and stuff like that. Um, you know I I was gonna wait on this, but I, I just can't wait. Um, uh, let's talk about your Juilliard um, um, <laughs> scholarship you had in in, in college. Did, I didn't know Juilliard played hockey. Um, you know, we, we've, we've had a few uh, good ones here in the last two two seasons since I've been here with Trav and uh, Connor. Let me let me cut just so yeah. it, 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 the newest commercial came out. It's the Frenchie 500. And uh, if you haven't seen it, see it, because it, uh, I uh, I was shocked at your 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 acting skill, academy like acting skill in this one. That uh, that was certainly a fun one to fun one to do. I, I will tell you. I hope it's not acting and not, you know, just your natural. Um, I, I, we do not want the fan base to think that's what's going on in the head hockey coach's brain while a game's going on. I, I trust our fan base. They, they know what acting is. So uh, that's what we're, we're if we can put a little berets on the guys. Yeah, yeah that's, what we're, that's what we're doing. And, and um, you know, it's funny. Uh, I Trav and Connor, you know, are really the kind of two that lead up those, those charges that relates to. Yeah you know, marketing and, and trying to, to, to put on a good product. I, mean, I, I think they just do such a good job with that stuff and they care about it and they want to keep it fun and light for the fans and try to try to spread the word in a little bit of a different way. And, um, <laughs> you, you know, it's not it, it's not the most fun part of my job uh, daily to 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 be involved in those things. You know, like we, we well, you got to do X's. I mean, you, we got to go you, back, back and that coaching and thing, make, you yeah, know, but, um, <laughs> but when, it, when I'm called upon. To, to lend a hand as it relates to the uh, advertising and marketing and acting department. If we're going to do it, we may as well do it to the best of our ability. So uh, that was a fun one with Trav and Connor. So if uh, if one of those dogs licks you in the face, is that, is that a French kiss? <laughs> <laughs> that kind of makes me itch a little bit. But, yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we should put berets. How about little jockeys on, yeah, on yeah, it? Yeah. Uh, if you give them a, a beret and a cigarette... Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, ooh, they're pushing uh, cigarettes at you, French, yeah, you know, yeah, and yeah, all yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's the Frenchie 500. That's Tri City, isn't it? That's right. It's coming up on a uh, week from Saturday, maybe, or a week from yeah, Friday. I don't know which Friday or Saturday? Not, it's not Saturday. this weekend, but the Saturday weekend weekend. after. Yeah, when we're yeah. back uh, uh, back home. Yeah, I I have to get in touch with Connor. Um, one of my wife's uh, my wife's boss of her other job is uh, got. Two Frenchies. Ooh, better uh, sign them quick. I yeah. Heard, I heard those spots were moving after that commercial. He's been pushing. He, I don't know if he got a hold of them or what, but uh, it sounds like he's going to be really disappointed if because uh, he thinks Sandy has some pull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, so your husband, who just broadcasts for him, obviously has something there. Ah, uh, you're part of the team, but yeah, well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if any of us can uh, can start fixing the dog races. <laughs> Now that would be good. Yeah, I, yeah, I that that would be, I that would be good scandal with the musketeers. <laughs> yeah. Why does that French bulldog have a ten pound weight on its yeah, back? Exactly. Uh, yeah. It's yeah, anyway. So it's coming up. There's always fun. One of my favorite ones from back is watching as Connor showed how it worked was. Uh, when the guys were doing the WWE yeah, stuff yeah. and slamming each other with yeah. with uh, with uh, chairs. Ta- chairs, yeah, yeah, that was that was pretty good. Yeah, no, they, they listen. I said Trav and Connor do a really good job <laughs> with that, and it's just another good way to interact with the fan yep. base. And um, uh, you know, credit to them. I do want to also mention again, this is not hockey, but it is a hockey family, and I know you guys um, had a moment of silence, and I this is well before you, but uh, I knew Stan Walensky for ever. I mean, uh, obviously, uh, he ran the Tyson. I mean, obviously, and it's been a, a long while since he's been here. So, uh, but I, I knew there was a lot of hockey fans that have been around for 20 years, and knew st- uh, the guy that uh, I. Sw- it's a stressful job to run that place, and I never saw this guy without a smile. And it's just like, hey, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, it's like 
I'd be a lot crabbier, you know, it, I, and, and I say that cause he was just a really nice guy. And, uh, that's, that was needed a, a moment of yeah. silence for a guy like that. Yeah. That's fine. It's again, it's, it's a family. It's family. And a second time, you know, no different than with AJ earlier in the year. Yeah. It's someone that I don't know. Don't mean and the amount of text that I've got, mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you know, I, and, and again, I, with, for people that I don't even know, but just, I think it just shows the, the family like atmosphere and how tight the community and, and the team and the employees and, and everybody is. Yeah. It, it always see them after. Uh, so anyways, uh, that was a uh, uh, great praise. Uh, Kevin did a nice job with that. Uh, great praise for, for Stan. Let's get one more break in. We'll come back and uh, we'll get back to hockey stuff. Uh, we'll talk about the games here coming up. Musketeer coaches show. We're at Eddie's Tavern on Fox sports radio, 620 KMNS. This is the Sioux City Musketeers Coaches Show. Now here's your host, Curtis Anderson. Not from yesterday. Musketeer Coaches Show is right here at Eddie's Tavern. Curtis Anderson with the head coach of the Sioux City Musketeers and Jason Kirsner. Um, you know, outside of your acting ability, I heard you know how to coach, too. Um, uh, you got the honor of the All-American game. The uh, um, <laughs> Your players love this place more. Uh, uh, Chipotle. Chipotle, thank you. I mean, I, how I don't have it in the brain. Well, you don't go as often as the players. I know, but I mean, it's solid. But I just, when I think of players in hockey, it, it, it's up there with all those. That's where they eat. Very right there. That's where they eat. Uh, so it's the All-American game. It's going to be at Plymouth. And so, hey, congratulations. That's pretty awesome. means you guys are doing well. Totally. I appreciate it. It's, it's a, I'm, I'm happy to represent the Musketeers. It's a team honor. Uh, it, it's as nothing to do with me it has everything to do with because of where the team is and well, i hope a little coaching is involved in your wins small <laughs> i mean though it's like you are actually telling them some things out there yeah yeah we got to go back to that commercial thought again yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I don't know. Um, but anyways but, go ahead yeah, I'm, no, sorry. I'm just saying just it's a um, it's a it th- those kind of you know um Shazy and guards are going as true individual honors because of what they've done as individuals mm-hmm. and I'm going because of the Musketeers record and yeah. how we've done there. And that's, that's a group effort. That's me. I, I definitely play a part of it, but um, obviously, um, you know, previous general manager and Troy Ward and helping to build this team. And then Clarkie, yeah, absolutely. Uh, putting his fingerprints all over this team, my, my coaching staff, and obviously, and most importantly, all of the players. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's a, Unique opportunity, and I'm certainly excited to represent the Musketeers and have a front row seat in watching, um, you know, a, a lot of future draft picks and and guys that are going to be, um, you know, one day playing in the National Hockey League. Now, are uh, how do you coach that? Do you? Do you uh, because I I've always cheerleading. wondered. Yeah, because you mentioned cheerleading, and I I bet there's a lot of part to it. But uh, do you take your 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 lineup card and you go, okay, these two guys are from Fargo. These two guys are no, from so Green Bay. Or... So it, it's very interesting the way they do this. And I a little peek under the hood. So th- they'll give us suggested lineups that, that, okay. that we'll start with. Um, and again, this just, this whole thing is, is based on the NHL. So it's really even like kind of the NHL scouts have kind it, of said, Hey, we'd like to see a little bit of this, a little this bit This used of that. to be different before. It, it did. It, it used to be a true all-star. Yep. Game, right. And, and this is a, so now um, you know, I know we'll talk about this weekend. Uh, you know, guards and Shazy won't even play in Saturday's game. They're going to miss the game. They're, oh, are they? I, I didn't. So they got a ship to do a little practice, but they, you're going to be there. Yeah, I'll be there. So they're, they're not practicing. They're going out and Sunday they're doing um, like combine type testing all day on all the guys. <laughs> so you can see how they might be more interested in the combine testing than they are. Yep. So so you have all of that. And then you have um, and, and, and then, you know, they, they kind of recommend lineups. The uh, the league and USA they were clear that if we wanted to adjust or make some changes that we could, but um, they want to see this. Guy. The yeah. NHL scouts want to see this guy. This guy, with guy this was guy. that guy for whatever yeah. reason. And I'm happy to oblige to that. This, listen, this I'm not going there to get drafted. This game's not it's about a player feature. That's right. This is not about me. This is about the players, and um, so I'm happy to oblige with any NHL if that if that whether it's again uh, I think Shazy's on my team and and guards on the other team. Um, so so obviously whether it be Shazy or or somebody. Um, you know, throughout the league, anything that we can do to, to help. But with all that being said, um, they do want it to be a real game. They don't want it to just be, um, you know, sure. pond hockey. So, um, so we are going to have a, a, a pre- you want someone to stick someone to 
stick someone or you know I, all, I, they want all of that and they want a little bit of like they don't want it to just be because like, can you get by a physical game can you get by sure. a skill game can you get by whatever and they want some little framework of how to play not just total just chaos mm-hmm. out there so we are going to have a pregame skate uh monday morning before the game and i'm sure we'll we'll, we'll chat with the guys and, and and just try to give them two or three things to try to keep everyone on the same page but other than that uh we're talking about some of the best players in the country and we're just gonna go let them be so monday Monday, 4 p.m. Monday, 4 p.m. NHL uh, Network. Oh, awesome. I was, I, that was my next question. Yeah. Uh, where can we get it? I was going to say maybe Flow, but NHL Network no, even be on better. The, yeah, they, they, they certainly make a big deal of it. So we'll be on the NHL Network, and um, I think I, I don't know if it's live or whatever, but I, I just found out now I got to do a Zoom call with the NHL Network on Thursday. So um, you tell you not to swear or anything. They, or... Uh, <laughs> I just got the email, so we'll see. Uh, so I don't know if that's live or after, but we'll see. So it, it's uh, they, they obviously – um, with with good reason and and for good cause, uh, they, they they put a lot of significance mm-hmm. and, and and a lot of effort into this uh, into this game for these guys. It'll be fun. It will, it, it, it will be fun, and I'm glad it's on. I'll have to uh, make sure I tape it because obviously I got a show during that time. But I um, I, I got the NHL yep. network at, at home. So, anyways, that's that. I, I wanted to hit all these bases here because it's coming up. I can't believe how fast it's coming up. It's just the announcement of the players were the other know, week, and then I'm like, wow. That's that's nuts. Um, the Omaha Lancers, uh, and we can talk just a little on it. We, you've seen them five times. You guys are four and one against them. They've all been close games. They play hard. They play physical. And uh, uh, thoughts on a Thursday? Eddie got a little burr with a loss in overtime against them. Can you take anything from that game? Um, tr- truthfully, not. You know, I, I, I don't want to say yes. There are things to take out of the game. Um, that prior results meaning much in this game you, you know we, we 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 just go about our business you know and 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 that weekend uh we didn't play great yeah and and that was more of the focus of us so so we were we were excited to get back to work and just just get ready for our next game and then i really liked our game this weekend but it's the same thing you know we liked our game this weekend as a coach there's some things in there that you don't like and that you want to improve on and do better our segment ascended so we push pause and look back on those seven games and 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 pull some some video and some analytics and some things that are you know kind of trending uh in our team whether that trajectory be up or down mm-hmm. and, and try to step in and try to uh, address those things um you know i think part of our our process as coaches is to eliminate known issues uh, you know in an effort to minimize um or yeah, i would say in an effort to maximize uh our chances of winning uh you know in the future so um so now you know we hey we pull the lessons out of that game and uh, we just move forward and we get back to work and we just try to get ready for our next game that is our next game so um you know, we're excited to get back out there and and compete but obviously like you said there's some there's some depth to the relationship some mm-hmm. familiarity and um, you know, we know each other well, and uh, it has been a tight series, and we expect nothing kind of less uh, moving forward. Be interesting to see their lineup. I know they went through a few suspensions over the weekend. Uh, I think them and Youngstown had quite the uh, quite the battle. There was a list of – yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not saying just Omaha. It was yeah. – uh, sometimes we just don't like each other, even if we don't – isn't that the, the funny thing about it is it's like – you guys will play an East team and then uh, tempers flare like out of the gate. I'm like, you guys don't even know each other. Yeah. It's just uh, something that, that stirs the pot sometimes, but you got that. And then you got Cedar on, on Saturday. Um, that's too bad that uh, you're missing a couple of guys. And obviously there's a lot of people that are to be missing, but um, it, you yeah, think that's it, you a would, newer wouldn't thing. been nice that's... if you guys played on Friday, Thursday, yeah, Friday that's or something. A, that's a newer thing that's gone on. So, you know, all 40 guys that or however many they took that that make that um, Chipotle All-American game. Um, no, nobody plays league wide on Saturday. Yeah. That's a travel day for that event. So obviously it's, uh, you know, it, it, it's. Harmful. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I haven't even looked for all. I know Fargo has eight guys, made, whatever the number yeah. is. Right. So, um so it can be more or less harmful to, to certain teams, but um, the 40 players in that game, they're really good players. That's why they made that game. So um, we'll, we'll be missing the leading goal scorer in the league and guards, who's a, a you know a, a, a central component, uh, certainly of our offense mm-hmm. and our power play and, um, and 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 how we play. So yeah, that's we'll, we'll be. We'll be overcoming uh, coming a lot. Those are significant losses, and we don't take that lightly. But, um, but again, as we said, that that's that kind of, hey, there, there's challenges in in the game of hockey. There's challenges in life, and 
you know, we, we will deal with them, whatever they may be, and just look to move forward and play the best game we can against Cedar Rapids. We can welcome back Sam and Urban, though. He, uh, he's hopefully, hopefully. Oh, my gosh. He, he, no, Are you no, telling no, me no, bad no, things now? No, like no, he, no, he, no, he, no, he snowstormed in somewhere? Well, I, I just haven't gotten, uh, you know, <laughs> I haven't gotten the update yet today. So he, he, was, he was scheduled to arrive here uh, this evening. And uh, I just hope that that continues to, to be the plan so we can, um, you know, get, get them back, you know, practicing and in the, in the mix. And, um, you know, I, I, right now the plan would be to play Sylvie on, on Thursday with Sam not even getting to town yet. And, yeah, he and needs some ice time. and Get him some ice time. And um, as, as long as all goes well, I'd like to, we would like him to play Saturday. We just haven't, yeah, you know, he, he was. He <laughs> got to see the whites of his eyes. or He was playing really well for us uh, before he left. And we'd like to kind of get him kind of back into that rhythm. So, um you don't know, feel good about our two two goalies now, and and try to, you know, kind of kind of get them both in in a groove and, and go from there. Well, perfect. Thursday seven o'clock. Saturday is seven o'clock as well. We need to tell C to do six o'clock games in the future. Yes. But oh well. Uh, we'll have the coverage game on SI Heart Radio and Flow Hockey. Uh, that's going to do it for the show. We're at Eddie's. Hey, remember, uh, always come out. They always have food specials and uh, Friday the ribs. The ribs. They they are amazing. Just a fork. Don't even need to do anything with them. All right. Have a good night. Your sports show, Fox Sports Radio 620, KMNS Sioux City.